Refresh. Got a new pair, nice. Although, gradually, I'm gonna wean myself off of wearing gloves, but I absolutely love these. As you know, these are my now gloves of choice. The Armoured Claw. Very nice. Okay, so thank you very much, gunfire.com. Thank you very much, Specna Arms. They, as well as a, a handful of other companies, were sitting, waiting patiently for me to come back. Thank you for your patience and thank you for this. Oh my gosh, this is the second of its type in the history of this channel. But this one is not exactly the one you're seeing there. Keep watching, although you would have seen it on the thumbnail, so yeah, and I'll explain why I was away for, you know, anyway, let's do this. So, welcome back to the channel, people. This is the Spectre Arms Core. Hold on. 249 Mark II Black, also available in tan. And they also sent me this baby here, but that will be another video. And it's quite exciting because it's showing them, Specna Arms, branching out into different types of platforms. But it's all about this baby. Let's get it open. Okay, nice big box. Um, your usual instruction manual. First thing we're gonna look at is the mag. Would you look at the size of this? It's a box mag and not just any old box mag. And if you remember, years ago, like I said, I did something similar by another uh, company. Exact same box mag. So it should have, oh yeah, it's got your off, sound control and auto and we'll get into that in a moment awesome this bad boy takes 2500 bbs do you know what every time i open up a new product the excitement is exactly the same as when i first started doing unboxings i'm telling you i know i've got a collection that is probably bigger than some small um warehouses but um <laughs> The excitement is so real, it's unbelievable, until of course it lets me down and then I'll let you know whether it's any good or not. So, look at this beast. Let's get this um, open. This is gonna be tricky. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Would you, I tell you what, let me not say that. Let me just say, Oh, whatever. Would you look at this beast? I can't even fit it in the camera. Not just yet. Hold on. I believe there should be... Yeah. <laughs> Your cleaning... I haven't said this in a while. Your cleaning and unjamming rod. Wow. Now, there's a reason why I'm saying wow. <laughs> and I'm freely holding it in one hand like this. All will be explained shortly. Um, so, straight away, let me just show you, it has a built-in bipod and uh, you can just release your bipod by grabbing it here or even down there, just squeeze them together and you know who your uncle is, would you look at this, how awesome does that look? You could be the support person on your team during gameplay. And with the amount of BBs you can put in that box, oh my gosh, there's no refilling of that box during an entire gameplay session, I would suggest. Unless you are a complete nutter. <laughs> now, earlier on, you would have noticed I was sort of hinting at how light this thing is. Now, in the grand scheme of things, okay, it is heavy in its own rights. You put that up against a regular, say, Airsoft primary, um, this will be the same way, if not a little bit heavier. But it is literally almost half the weight of this bad boy. Now, granted, it's got its box on there, but I will put the box on there too, don't you worry. But um, yeah, this is the original one that I had, uh, Metal Construction, there's your first clue. Because my Airsoft friends, the upper and lower 
are polymer, but things like your barrel, your bipod, your carry handle, the section where you put your stanag-type mag, or your box mag, all of that sort of housing there, it's all metal, and of course, internally too. And then you've got your trigger, your trigger guard, that's all metal, and your safety button. So taking a look at the rear, you have this nice gripped butt plate, but if you move your shoulder rest up, and then slide this down, there's your battery compartment. So I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, pop the battery pack in right now and as you can see I have an 11.1 volt battery pack. It's uh, not the biggest of battery packs but trust me when I say loads of room so you don't need to stick to this sort of size. So you may be thinking to yourself hmm lots of polymer going on here but there's something to be said about running around the airsoft field with one of these bad boys that is lighter than usual. Um, it's got its benefits, yeah, so don't write it off. Right, so before I put the battery pack in, let's just make sure this is on safe. Okay, I can freely move that, hold on. Nice. It has one of those physical blocks, so when you put it on safe, it literally will not go back. Take it off safe, watch, decent. So let's get that back on safe. By the way, look, you can see there's tons of room in there. And you just simply slide your butt plate back on. Okay, so I've done my checks. There's no BBs in there. And of course you can see there's no mag. Take it off safe. And we're just gonna make sure that it works. It's pointing in a safe direction. So, back on safe, let me just take you around the features, the design, briefly. So I've already shown you the shoulder rest, the butt plate, and of course right here you've got this awesome looking stock. Now, if this stock isn't your thing, do remember, there are choices. And I suppose right now will be a good time to show you where the hop-up adjustment is. It's right there, look, and again, look, all of that metal. Now, good thing about this, just because this is of a predominantly polymer build, it doesn't mean you can't do your fancy stuff with it, yeah? You can still, um, stick your dummies on. So, as we move along, you've got this very nice grip, loving the minimal Spectner markings. At this point, it will be a good idea to put the box mag on. Now, as I showed you earlier, and as you would have seen in one of my videos years ago from a particular other type, um, there's your switch for your auto, for your sound control. That's the bit that I love the most about this. And of course, you're off. So let me put it on there to complete that picture. And um, when you're putting the mag on, make sure to connect the feeder first before you slide the box on. Oh, and by the way, effectively, there's your mag release. Nice. And then you just uh, clip it on. Now, come on. Ha! Looks lit. No, <clears throat> looks nice. Now, if you take a closer look on the inside of that, that's where your BBs will be fed. Here, look, here's one I prepared earlier. Can you see the BBs there? And naturally for movie making purposes and for that look, you can see how having your dummies coming from there, down there, will cover up all of that. You've got your rear sight, which unfortunately is not adjustable, but hey, this type of platform is for spray. Anyway, as we move along, you've got your carry handle. Now, as it is right there, if I go like that, it doesn't want to move. So what you need to do is just push it back a bit and Bob's your uncle, and it's uh, locked into place. You can also uh, bring it down to that level. You can go even further, look, <laughs> so it neatly sits on the other side, as opposed to on the top. Now, during gameplay, if you fancy flexing and moving around like you're some kind of, I don't know, Arnie, um, there's your handguard. And then, of course, we get to the business end with your mock gas block and your front sight, which again is not adjustable. Right, let's have a look on the other side. Oh, he looks handsome. Loving how neatly the uh, handle folds down on this side. And then you've got this. It's mock, but it looks the business. Oh, yeah. 
but we all know what you're waiting for so let's do it right now so i've got a couple of more batteries to put in so that goes in here so you just release the cover like so and uh, pop your double a's in right now here's where it gets even more interesting so you've got your switch right there let me put it on auto listen up now you're thinking to yourself hold on <laughs> now you're thinking to yourself what a racket but trust me when you're using this in gameplay it's awesome but what if you don't want that constant noise going on well you see there's nothing because inside that black feeder box there's a little microphone. So that little microphone in the feeder is listening. Now it's not listening to me like Amazon or Alexa. It's, it's um, waiting to hear you pull the trigger. Now, even if I tap it and tap the table, nothing's going to happen. Why? Well, it's still on safe. So let me take it off safe. Remember there's a microphone in there, listen. Still nothing, that's what I like. Tap the box, might be a different thing. No, still not gonna go off. Excellent, it is literally waiting to hear you pull that trigger. Now, check this. Now remember, for this platform to work, it needs that motor running. Ready? Yeah, baby, did you hear that? So every time you, the motor winds up and feeds your BBs into the bad boy. Right, talking about BBs, I've got to put 2,500 of those little blighters in that box. Right, so I've put everything back on safe. I've turned the box off. You just reverse the process to take it off. Now, you don't have to take it off to put the BBs in, but it would be a lot easier if you did. Um, from this position, see that little door? Just there. You can uh, slide that open and fill it up. And that could take some time, so I would suggest closing that door back up. Press down on that mag release right there to release the box. And then release your feeder using that mag release. And then you pop your lid off and right there is where you can dump your BBs in. <laughs> uh, no one's saying you've got to count 2,500. Just dump them in and I'll show you where I'll stop, yeah? There, look. Right, let's see if it can actually sling a few BBs. So I've got the box mag on, I turned it on for a few seconds and automatically it started to feed some of the BBs, like I said earlier. Nice. Right, let me just get my iPro on. Always wear iPro. Let's take this off safe. Right, I've got it on that sound control mode, okay? So it's waiting for me to do the business before the motor starts winding up in the box. <laughs> I love how I almost drew a sweater, a t-shirt, like a hoodie. <laughs> or could that be um, a man with a flat hat and a very big chin? <laughs> or could it be, okay, let's move on. Very nice. We're looking at 18 rounds per second and a comfortable 338. Now, if you're wondering why I only did full auto for the Chrono, well, it only does full auto. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, you know, again, it's not all about precision, but I'm just gonna generally point in that direction and let's see how we get on. Stats are on the screen now.
gosh, for the first time in history, in the history of this channel, the target literally gave up. Look at this, this not, and the funny thing is, let me just uh, put it on safe. If I open this box up, it's not even completely empty, look. There's still some down there. Oh my gosh. So there you go, people. This is the Spectna Arms Core 249 Mark II P, the black version, also available in tan. Yeah, so I know some of you are thinking, ugh, polymer. And I was even thinking that as well, but trust me, it feels solid. Yeah, I wish possibly it could have a bit more metal about it externally, but not only does it make it lighter and easier to use, it's also lighter on the old bank balance. I also wish the sights were, you know, adjustable, but again, why would you need adjustable sights on a platform like this? You saw what happened when I started slinging those BBs. Absolutely epic. <sighs> so thanks again to Spectna Arms and GF. Um, yeah, I was in a low place, um, nothing to do with COVID, nothing to do with YouTube, um, but I'm back, that's all that matters, I'm back, I'm still going through things, but, you know, I'm trying to get there, but I really want to thank everyone that's watching this video right now, all of my subscribers that are watching this video right now too, and especially my channel members. That's level one, two, or three. All your names are up on the screen right now. Adrian Cowlard, Lee Peng, Alicia Isaac, Santiago, Mr. Bliss, Seon Lee, Andrew Cleanbread, Andrew, Grandad Sniper, Equiner 2006, Alice Derm. Oi, wait a minute. This ain't the Oscars. I know I'm running out of time, but come on, the music. Trabum got, I think that is, I probably got that wrong. Woodland Warriors, Batman 206 WRC, Super Scotty 182, Evil Bus Driver, Dawn Soloway, Christopher Julin. Yeah, that name. T H I J S K O K. One day I will pronounce that so it doesn't sound. Anyway, and Matisse, thank you all so much for hanging on and um, continuing to support my channel even though I disappeared for over a month which isn't really that long, but for the amount that I was putting out before, it looked as if I disappeared. I apologise, I'm back. Thank you all. I'll catch you next time. Oh, and part two of the M1 Grand Gold Limited Edition coming soon. How rude.